Hello and welcome back to Crackpot Sports. Today we're going to ask the question, does Steve Garvey belong in the Hall of Fame? Now, Steve Garvey played for the Dodgers woo, and my San Diego Padres. Now, let's look at some of his stats. He had 2,599 hits, 272 home runs, a lifetime batting average of 294. He scored 1,143 runs. 1,308 RBIs. He had six seasons where he had 200 hits. He was a National League Championship MVP in 78 and 84. Ten-time All-Star. He holds the record for consecutive games played in the National League, 1,207. He was the NL MVP in 1974 and won four gold gloves. Let's compare him to Tony Perez, who's in the Hall of Fame. Tony Perez had 2,732 hits. 379 home runs, a lifetime batting average of 279, scored 1,272 runs, RBIs 1,652, and 49 stolen bases. A little better than Steve Garvey. Here are the top five home run leaders during the 70s in total home runs. Willie Stargell, 296, Reggie Jackson, 292, Johnny Bench, 290, uh, Bobby Bonds, 280, and Lee May, 270. You compare it to 1990s, the steroid era, Mark McGuire had 405, Griffey had 382, Barry Bonds 361, Albert Bell 351, and Sammy Sosa 332. So it was just a different era. So can you compare what Garvey did to players that played in the 90s? I say no. To players that played in the 80s? I say no. So my recommendation is that Steve Garvey belongs in the Hall of Fame. I'm also a Padre fan that has no problem with his number being retired by the Padres. It was a big deal for him to hit that walk-off home run against the Cubs that helped get the Padres into the World Series. Now, I think people forget how bad the Padres were back in the early days. So I'm going to say, yes, Steve Garvey belongs in the Hall of Fame. Let me know what you think in the comment section, yay or nay. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye, everyone.